Hi there, it's Shell and Clint, Pa and Mom, are both inside. Um, it's pretty early. It's 8.15, but I had some ideas I wanted to get started on this journal. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and sew in the signatures. Uh, I was looking for this thing. I am in the studio, and man, it is cold. I should have brought a jacket. <laughs> 33 degrees this morning. Isn't that crazy? I think the high is like supposed to be 60s. So, it's a little chilly. A little, little bit chilly today. Um, I just saw something. I think I might want to go ahead and put... Can I put this in? Oh no, I'll have to glue it. But that would be kind of fun. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, we're going to sew this in real quick. And then my fabric flips and stuff. I still need to finish the one. I will put them later. And I'm just, I'll just glue them in. I was going to sew them in, but I think I'll just glue them in. So I need six. So here. And that's a beautiful cover. I love it. I uh, want to mention before I forget, we are having a sale this weekend, uh, and today's the last day, so if there was something you wanted, then go pick it up. Um, it was just for M Memorial Day. I just forgot to mention it, and I asked Clint to mention it on his last video, and he forgot to, so, so anyways, uh, we have had a few sales, you know, probably people who have been notified. There we go. Boy, that really folded nice, didn't it? So, do you guys want to watch this part? I never know. You know, I do have some friends, some new people. So, perhaps, perhaps they want to see it. Um, what I do is I usually make a template, which is like this. And then we are going to, um... Whenever you're making your template, go ahead and put top on the top, and then I do I draw lines, and then I use a little hole punch and punch holes, and then this will line up with my signature. So I'll get that, and I'll just kind of show you all that. Uh, pretty simple. It's not going to take that long, so may as well do it. It's beautiful today, though, even though it's freezing out there. <laughs> And we went and checked on the babies, which now we have, we're up to four. So I don't know if we'll have any more or not, but I told Clint, you know, if they, um, I'm just making sure this is really straight. If they, um, if she's the one that laid the eggs, you know, she would have laid one a day. So we might have one baby a day for a while. Like the one for yesterday was in the afternoon. So, I'm just using this pen. It's kind of the same color, and maybe it won't show up too much. And then you're just going to poke holes. So you need them all. And I wanted to apologize for yesterday's video where um, I focused on Clint too much, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I sped up that part where he was cleaning it up the... Um, Sorry about that. Cleaning up the chicken coop. I didn't realize. It was still like over four minutes. But it's not super, super duper long. You know, but still. Sorry it was as long as it was. But. Yeah, it was kind of like, I got to get this done. It's been busy. We have been super busy just around the yard, in the house, doing stuff, making stuff. It's just crazy. Has Is it always this busy this time of year? I guess it is. I don't know. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem like I'm typically this busy, you know. But man, we've been, we got the, um, 
peas and the beans in the garden. So, but, um, we still have one more bed that we want to get done. What I'm doing now is I'm just going to make sure all this line, lines up correctly. All my pages are, you know, facing the right direction. But I have a lot of things I want to go in here and I have some more ideas. So yeah. I don't know if mom's going to come out or not. And then what I do is I go ahead and go through the back just to make sure like my pockets, if I have any, are right side up and all that stuff. Because if you don't, then inevitably they will be wrong side and you'll have to cut it out and start over again. Just some, something you learn along the way. So when I always clip it, and I know... Some of you guys have probably seen this hundreds of times. It's not so bad when um, you've had the experience of sewing it in. But if it's like your first time, it might be a little overwhelming. And I know I, I tell this story quite often, but the one, first one I did when I sewed in, I was following a lady and she used one piece of string for six signatures. So you would sew on one signature and then you would uh, use that same string and sew in another signature. And man, I had the worst time with that. So I had to end up like cutting it and doing all that. So, because I drew those lines that are sideways, I can just kind of put a little mark and it should line up perfectly with my dots. But yeah, so after that, I only tried it one time and it was so overwhelming that I have been doing it like this the, whole, the rest of the time. So, and what you wanna do is you just want to make sure that it's really folded in a V. And go straight through. I just use the phone book because it's just nice to have. There we go. And then when you look at it, they're right on the fold. And if for some reason they're kind of off, because sometimes you can get them like a quarter or even a half an inch off if you're not paying that much attention, go ahead, refold it, and re poke. And then that one that you kind of did out here or whatever will kind of work itself out and it'll be fine so I saw somebody recently talk about that they're like why is this like that so and then I use this thread it's a nylon I think it's nylon waxed cord I do have it in my in my Amazon below so you want three strands one two Pair of scissors. Oh, I tell you, I'd love to come out here though. Just nice and quiet. And mom accidentally stepped on the baby. So <laughs> it was kind of hectic there for a little bit. Uh, Lucy was crying. Mom was like, oh my God, what, what did I do? Because she can't really hear her. She didn't have her hearing aids in. And so Lucy had run, so Clint was chasing Lucy, trying to make sure she was okay, because you know, gotta be careful, you can break a break a little foot or something. She's fine, but she was scared, poor thing. So it is a typical morning here. <laughs> I made mom and I, I try to make us breakfast every morning if she wants something and I made me some oatmeal but it was the last of a package and I made too much and she wanted toast but she said she sure enjoyed she I asked her if she wanted oatmeal she didn't I told her she didn't have to but 
she said she did sure did enjoy that oatmeal so so that was good I'm nice to her sometimes <laughs> I am. We, we cook. I always check with her, make sure she's taking her medicine. All that kind of stuff. But, and I don't have the camera on her all the time. No matter what she says. <laughs> Just once a week or so. Uh, somebody wrote that, and I can't remember if it was Susan or Sharon, but um, which is weird because it showed Clint. She said, you, you like terrorizing her with the camera. And I told Clint, it didn't even show up on mine. So I don't know why it's showing up on his computer, not mine. But really, I want to have the memory too of mom, you know. I mean, she's not going to be around forever. And if I can, you know, get a little bit of a memory from it. Um, I think that's a good thing, you know. So there, Mom. <laughs> she watches. I don't know if she can hear everything I say, but but she watches. So we we do have a Susie in our chickens. Susie, or I think that's what Clint want, wants to call it. Susie. We have a. We have three shades of gray like one black one gray one lighter gray and then we have um the yellow one which is glennis glennis you got the chicken named after you and uh yeah it's kind of kind of cute even if it's a male glennis it's still we're still going to call it glennis we have talked about it <laughs> Still six eggs to hatch. We'll see it, see if they see if that happens. So I am gonna can some beans today. Some dried beans. Hi baby, what's up? Oh, I have a question. Boy, it's chilly. It is. I turned up the I know, rain. It's I probably need to put that wind that window down. But what's wrong? Well, I was just thinking of the inside one. Nice. I think. Yeah. I was thinking maybe this one. Because that's what I did the pinwheels out of and I I don't know, I thought that might look really nice, especially if I can get it going the right way. I like that actually. I like it a lot. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Yep. And what I'm gonna do is use some reds and golds to decorate it. That's what I was thinking, so I don't know. So I just wanted to see what you thought about that idea. I think that's a perfect okay. idea. What are you guys doing? Uh, Mom's just sitting there. Oh, good. And then I was ironing this. Yes. She needs to needs a break. Well, she just took her pill too. So. Oh, good. That yeah. makes her dizzy. So. Yeah, I didn't want her. To... Hi, guys. Oh, you're Sorry. doing the signatures, huh? Yeah. I told you that, but you probably didn't notice. Well. Yeah, I'm sewing them in, and then I'll do the fabric flips later yeah <clears throat> and all that good jazz that looks nice I like that. isn't that pretty i love it and it really folded really nice oh yeah I like how really it, it's so um yeah dark or whatever so yeah that's what we're doing we're just talking jabbering yeah. away forgot what i was talking about but uh, you know you know how i am old girl keeps yelling at me <laughs> Oh, guys, when she wants her toy, she gives you no rest. Nope. None. Where's that at? I don't want to get my finger. There we go. Well, I'm going back in. I just wanted to see what you thought I like that it. idea. See. Could you uh, well, close that window for me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty damn chilly. Yeah. It's pretty chilly. My fingers are cold. And I didn't wear a jacket because I didn't think I needed one. So. You want me to bring in a... That's perfect. No, I'm fine. I'll be okay. I turned the heater up. Yeah, I'm supposed to. In yeah. a little bit, it'll warm up. So. It will. Yeah. So. Okay. So I am go. not concerned. Oh. Okay, keep an eye on your mom. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Clint. See you later. That 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 <laughs> it's cold, and he's walking around in shorts. Shorts and a tank. So he's kind of. Yeah, and it's like seriously 33 degrees. 
I talked to my <laughs> my best bestie bestie betty and she said are you kidding me because i told her how cold it was and she's like it's hotter than hades here <laughs> she's in florida yep betty it really was 33 degrees in fact earlier this week we had the air on in our bedroom and this morning we had to turn the heaters on throughout the house to get the chill off if nothing else yeah it's a little bit chilly here and I mean it's fixing to be June though I have seen it actually snow on me the 4th of July it was just a little flurry it didn't add up or anything but yeah it happens but it seems really late to be <laughs> this cold usually you know we get a we could get a snow like around the 19th or something and then it just it's like it's summer and then it gets hot but this year still no rain Darcy's in rain so and then I always use like a dull um, quilting needle or whatever it's called because I um, you don't want to like poke new holes so if you have a dull one it will kind of go through the neat the hole make sure everything's going the right direction and then I tighten it and then I kind of do a little double check back here and that's that didn't take too long less than 15 minutes that's not bad but yeah that one I was in tears and then I was sewing, you know, I was sewing the five together. And I think I was on number three, three or four. And I looked and I realized that number two or three was upside down. And with the way that was, you know, one big old string, then, yeah, you would have had to cut out all the signatures. It was the biggest mess. <laughs> Things you learn as you... As you go you know but I tell you too funny it's funny now it was not funny then I was just like I am so over this I'm never making another one a <laughs> hundred hundred later oh I just love that cover though isn't that gorgeous okay so let's let's move move along uh, I do want to put some lace on the edges or at least you know figure out where I'm gonna put them so then I can put, um, figure out my ephemera. So let me do that. So I did. This is a lace from Hobby Lobby. Oh, I need to put everything in. And then all the stuff I have for sewing in my signatures, I do keep it in a kit that way when I'm sewing I just have to grab that and I don't have to worry about anything else so I'll put it all back together in there and it's ready for next time so let's see but I love this this lace I think it's so pretty cotton lace trim ivory 100% 5 eighths of an inch so I know I want three and three, so six at least. So I'm going to do it like eight and a half. I'm just going to just draw it. I don't know why. I just think Edith Holden kind of has the lace feel. And I'm okay if they're a little bit long and then I have like little snippets or whatever. Because I'll use those on ephemera or whatever. But I really just wanted some lace on my pages. One, two, three. This is five. And I need to degum my pages my scissors Oops, ow. six let's 
dreaming about these people that I haven't seen in years and years last night. I was dreaming about them. And you know how they're not your favorite people, but you have dreams and you're thinking, why was I dreaming about them? I have no idea. I looked them up on Facebook and everything seems fine. It's just, it was just bizarre. So I think I'm going to put one here. I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac. Like I said, it's kind of cold out here. But not cold enough to freeze my glues, I don't think. That would not be good. Fabri-Tac is... I do like to use that with... Um, lace and stuff. Though back in the day I would use um, this art glitter glue. See I still have a little inch. So I put my lace on there and then I open it up and from this side you can kind of see where you want it and make sure it's even the whole way and then you can kind of do all the lace the same way so let's I'm worried about putting it on there because that one's kind of fragile so let's put it on here just kind of somewhere in the middle I saw some cute ideas on TikTok that I want to add to this book You can thin your fabric tack by using some nail polish remover. If it's too thick, I have done that. And then see by looking on this side, kind of see how how to line it up. I think mom's going to do some crocheted pieces to go in the store. But like I was saying earlier, everything in the store right now is on sale through the end of the day. So, and then I'll put one on this, this page. wanted to before you sewed it into your signature you could sew all this lace on. I kind of like to just glue it. It's totally personal preference. And then I'll go to this one back here and that one is perfect to put it on. These pieces are coming up. Look at that. So I'm going to have to glue them down. might be because I used distress ink on the paper or it just might be a cheap sticker but I don't want them to come apart so I glue and then I'll put them back you can kind of feel what I'm doing is I'm just kind of feeling and I can kind of feel what I think is the front So my friend made a seed cake yesterday, which is interesting to me. I've never heard of a seed cake, though, except for poppy seed. And my grandmother used to make poppy seed cakes all the time. And, uh, let's see. I'm to figure out where the 
where center is. I think I want it on this one. But, uh, so I was asking her what kind of seeds, because I was thinking, well, it's going to be poppy seed. But no, it's, um, it's a cardamom, I think. Is that right? Now I can't remember, Lindsay. Anyways, she said it's, um, uh, I'll start with a C. I'm thinking it was cardamom. Anyways, that's what she used. But she said last time she used a fennel. Or maybe it was caraway. Caraway, maybe. Anyways, it was one of them. If you're interested, let me know and I'll tell her that you're interested. <laughs> or I can look in my in my thing, but uh, I don't know if it was any good. It looked awesome. But she said the first time she didn't have the car I'm pretty sure now I think about it, it's caraway, but she didn't have those, so she used fennel. I'm not a huge fan of fennel. And I looked up the seed that... Um, She told me to truck that is the one she used and it said it is a combination of like fennel and cumin for a cake I don't know what did you think of it Lindsay and then she made chocolate chip cookies <laughs> sorry I have to tell our tell your business when you're on uh, I tell you what my friend made <laughs> did this just fall in here? I think it did. Put on my door. My door's not the cleanest place for it to fall. But yeah, those cookies looked so good. Try not to eat too many sweets because I have diabetes and then also trying to always lose weight. I do love a hot, fresh chocolate chip cookie from the oven. She's another friend I can talk to first thing in the morning, which is so nice. I miss having people to chat with, you know, first thing in the morning. Okay, so those look good. I'm going to go through one more time and just kind of make sure it's sticking. Which they call this the, they call it, it's like a hot glue in a bottle, I think is what, what I've seen. So it sticks really, really quick, but it doesn't burn your, your fingers. I saw a new hot glue gun at um, Home Depot. It's actually like a rechargeable, you know, like for like weed eaters and stuff. It uses that same kind of battery. But it's a hot glue gun, so I don't know. Okay, so now I have my good scissors. I'm just going to trim, trim this down. We'll hold on to all the little bits of lace. I might need it in. You never know. So I think what I'm going to do is figure out where I want my two fabric flips. And I think I'll put like a pin or something on it to kind of mark my place so I don't put ephemera where those go. They're still inside, so I'm not going to add them right now. Last night I was creative and I made a clean and dirty magnets for our, our dishwasher. Because sometimes the clean ones get rewashed a couple of times before they're put up. Because we put dirty in with them. So that will help us all to remember that they're clean and stuff, you know. So I just had some old letters. I just colored them the same color as my kitchen. Put them on some cardboard. Very simple. Put magnet, magnets on the back. So that was fun. I don't know where this came from, but isn't that cute? It's just a cute little thing. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I will use that to mark one of my places. So I'm thinking of fabric flip. And maybe like right here. Because I want it, you to be able to, to journal in it. So... 
put one there underneath it I guess and then um, I'll put one here but I think I'll go to the back of here do that same paper but on the back that way I kind of spread it out just a little there we go and Okay, so we have those. So, let's see what time do we have. Uh, it's been about almost 20 minutes. Is that correct? So, we're not doing too bad. Almost 30, I guess. Um, let's see what I want to do. There is something new like I wanted to do. So, we're going to try and hopefully I'll have enough time. If not, we'll pick it up in tomorrow's video. So, I want four pages from here that kind of are summery or springy. Ooh, I don't want that. Don't want that. That one's not too bad. But I really like this. I might can even make two pages out of that. And this one's cute. Ooh, look at those. Those are pretty. Somebody said they had never seen one of these um, Edith Holden books, the smaller ones. They are paperback. So look up Edith Holden paperback if you're looking for one. And it's about five by seven, so it's a little bit smaller. And um, I really like them because they're perfect for like a full page in journals. But I accidentally ordered these. I ordered two, and I just thought, oh, Edith Holden. So I just ordered them, and then they were paperback. That's how I came across them. So I need some coffee dye paper. Okay, and this is like a tracing paper. I think this would be really cute on these. So let me show you, show you what I'm going to do. Because I want... I want four of these. I need to cut them down. Let me figure out where I want to put this. I don't want it on that one. Kind of a sturdy page if I have one. I'm only making one for the journal, so I think it's going to. So maybe on this one. That one is pretty sturdy as far as, or this green one. Ooh, maybe I'll put it right here. Okay, so we're going to put it on one of those. Actually, let me put my other, my awesome book, book holder upper there. Let me move that because now it's in my way. So I'm going to cut these down just a little, but probably on this side. And I only want it like, I would say approximately half, so it could be a little bit longer. And I'm going to keep this here so I think I'm just gonna cut it right below this butterfly and this is just me I don't know designing something that I'm not sure it will work but I think it will <laughs> this one kind of the same thing trim it trim it down just a little come from the bottom so I think I'm gonna put I mean of course save all your scraps you know so I think I want this one coming from the bottom this one coming from the top where's my other pieces did I only pull two okay let me see what's in here 
just that one will work that's kind of pretty too I like that so on this one though I'm gonna have just about like this I might have to trim it down later but let's see oh and I love that Ooh, but look at that. I know I had those one. Hmm. I don't know where I put them, though. But I love this. Let's do this one. Um, these are kind of glued. They're not folded, which is different than the, the larger book. All these are on sale in my store right now. So, let's see. Okay, so I know I want that. And then on the back of all these, I am going to put this, some of this paper. So it's going to kind of cover up the design, but they're still going to be a little bit poking through. Um, I did think about putting um, I did think about putting just coffee dyed paper, but then I saw this paper and I thought that will be really pretty because you can still see just a little bit of that gorgeous Edith Holden paper. So I'm just going to use my glue stick and cover it. Especially around the edges. I really want it to, to lay pretty, pretty flat. Move this out of the way. And I think I'm going to miss this big piece right here. And then I'll just use my little tool. I always forget about this thing, but I saw somebody else using it, and I was like, I'm just going to start using it. <laughs> it's just nice to have. And hopefully I have the edges really, really nice and glued. This one, which is the back. I know I have a mess, but I'm a crafter. We all have messes. Okay, again, just make sure I get all those edges really good. This is also, you know, I wanted to kind of make it a little bit, um, Sturdier. That's one reason I wanted something on the back so that I could um, strengthen the paper just a bit. I'll show, you, show you why here in a bit. So this is the front. I guess that this is pretty flat, huh? So you could write on it if you wanted. See how you can kind of see a little bit of the paper. That over there, this one. I never know what to do with this paper. I think it's going to be perfect. Figure out what side you want for the back. So the other day we were um, talking to somebody. It was really funny, but he was asking where we were from, and I told him, and he says, have you read that book that happened in, it's called Dead Run. It's, I can't remember the author's name, but, um, these three guys, I think they're in their 20s, they weren't very old, but they had stolen a water tank, and he started telling me about it, you know, stolen a wa water tank to break into the casino, and because we have a casino not too far away on the reservation, and 
uh, this cop came across him and they killed the cop. They shot him over 20 times. But he was talking about this and Clint and I lived that. We had, we had this house where we are now and seriously like two miles up. Um, they were doing, they had to do a manhunt because they couldn't find the guys. Two miles up they were, uh, had found some um, sets of feet print that were theirs. I don't know how they knew, but that's what they said. Somebody had heard voices or something, so they called the cops. And when they got the, oh, it was only one, one cop or something on duty. I haven't read the book, but it's only one cop on duty. Um, you know, this is just what we remember. And he didn't want to go out there by himself because, you know, these guys were shooting and killing cops. But it was the year that we got married and the sirens and stuff were going off and we had a job up in Dove Creek. And if we would, what happened is we went to his dad's to listen to the scanner and there was a police chase. We would have been like right in the middle of that police chase if we hadn't went to listen to the scanner. But so, yeah, they killed this one cop. Um, in the book, it, it, it's not like a, uh, what is it, like a true story? They, it's kind of written like a mystery or, you know, scary, scary book. But the guy's telling us about it. I'm like, you know, we lived that. In fact, somebody had shot our windshield but it had came at a um, angle, so it didn't go through the windshield. But during that time, we were driving, and yeah, Clint was driving. You know, it went, it hit our windshield and bounced off. So I think it hit our, I don't know, hit something. But yeah. So if you're interested in learning more about our area. That happened in 1998 in May. So, oh, it's just, I mean, so horrible. But they did end up finding all the guys, and I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the rest of the story. Okay, so now I just want to cut all those out. But that's going to give us a little bit more. One thing about this is it gets so dusty out here. Everything's dirty all the time. I could use scissors. But I'm going to see if I can just cut this. This will help. And then I'll use scissors. So yeah, that was one of our pieces of history. But the guy was like, oh yeah, I was just reading a book about your area. And the biggest manhunt in history. And I was like, really? Wow, that happened here. And then he started telling, I'm like, you know, we were in the middle of that. Yeah, it, it was a scary, scary time for our community. You know, because uh, of not knowing where these guys were. We had FBI agents. We had everybody, you know, around around us. I mean, you would just look at the highway and you would just see the cars, and you knew that they belong, who they belonged to, you know, task forces and stuff like that. So, anyways, so he went in the house. The guy went in the house, and then he came back out and said. Take a picture of the book so you can <laughs> so you can get a copy of it for yourself. And then he told me where where to go get a copy. He said, "Oh, you can get a copy in Durango because that's where we were at Marie's book uh, store." So then I went and I was talking to this other lady. We were talking, and she remembers the. I call it the Claxton murder. That was the, the cop. And uh, she remembered it. And she said, oh, I bet I can get it at that bookstore. <laughs> Marie's bookstore. 
So I haven't decided if I'm going to read it yet or not because that was a scary time. And then you hear, oh yeah, there's, you know, two miles up, there's proof of footprints that they're pretty sure belong to those guys. And we had just moved here. I don't even think we had our bed and stuff here yet. Because it seems like we were sleeping on the living room floor when we first moved in. I don't know why. But anyways, I kept hearing noises outside and I'd tell Clint, honey, they're here. <laughs> it would freak him out. Sorry. It wasn't funny, but it was funny. Because, you know, it was a scary time. A scary time in our life. And if I remember correctly, we did not have phone at the time. That was before cell phones. And our phone, our house is so old, they didn't have a phone wired in until after we moved in here. So yeah, could have been bad, but we survived. But 24 years ago. So anyways, another piece of history that I'm sharing with you guys that nobody really cared about knowing. <laughs> Just me rambling. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to figure out which way I want these to go and we're going to kind of finagle them. So I am just going to score this one has a score, and I don't want to go too hard, just lightly. And I'm going to score these in the way I want them to sit. And I want four, so I have one on the bottom, one on the top. Which one was that? I think it was this one. They don't have to be perfect, I don't think. I mean, I just saw this and I thought, shellify time. So, one on the top. Still a little bit wet, so it kind of. I have to use my thing. This one's going to be on the side. I think I want it on this one. So I'm thinking about side, top, bottom. And hopefully I can make it work. And then this is the other side. So that one, this one. But, see, by doing that, I think it's going to... My hands are so numb, I can't hardly feel them. <laughs> um, I think they'll work. So, where is my... I know you're in here somewhere, little... Hmm. You know, when I find that thing again... There it is. I'm going to put it in my drawer just look down and see it. This one wasn't quite, quite folded correctly. So. Okay, so then we have those. And I made sure when I was picking my page that there's nothing on the back because I think I'm going to be poking holes or something and I want to be able to cover those up later. So, like I said, I'm not sure how this is going to work. So this is going to be on the bottom and I want it to, nope, this is going to be on the top. They like glued there. This one's going to be on the bottom and it's too long so I need to trim it. Which is fine, you know. Oh, excuse me. So I want it like that. I might even have to take it down further, I don't know. And then this one will be on this side. Actually, I think that will work. And then this one will be on 
this side. So, here we go. You ready? Are we ready for this? I do not know. I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. Hopefully it's not frozen. It's really cold. Note to self, do not heat it up in the in my heater. <laughs> Still have glue from last time I did that. Just art glitter glue. You don't want it to freeze though. Because then it, yeah, it gets all ruined. ruined. So I'm going to put this here. Like this. I just want to make sure it's going to be okay. Like that. Baby wipe. I think these are cold. I heard somebody walking. I don't think mom's coming out, but you just don't know. She had to. Okay, and then on this side, I want this one, but if it goes under, it will be fine, so. Okay, so that's going to be like the bottom. This is this one. The top will be like here. But let's put the bottom on first because it's kind of kind of how I'm going to have it. I think. have it like that. Make sure I don't have glue all over it and everything. So that, that, this, and then this. I thought that would look really, really pretty. And because we put that paper on the back of all of them, you can journal on them if you want to. So let's see how, how I'm going to do this. Looks pretty straight. Clean up my mess. And I really want, you know what, I think I have a piece I could cut down to cover all this part up. So let me grab that. So this is just a, uh, like an index card. So this is what I'm thinking. Pin. I don't want it too tight. And then here. Kind of make it look more finished.
So if I were to put it in here, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Doesn't look too bad, huh? And then I was thinking about like doing a little thing there just for like a little secret. You guys know how I love my secret journaling spots. Like a secret journaling spot. And I do want to ink around this. So a big mess all over. And if I wanted to, I could put something here and I have kind of an idea. So we'll see. Or I could leave it and you could journal, but I kind of like the idea of having it having something else there. Especially since you'll have, you know, ink blenders are now on sale through the end of the day. So if I put it and just make sure, you know, it lines up okay. And then I was thinking about, since this is Edith Holden, I think it'd be really cool to have her, um, her saying or her picture or maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. Let's do it. I think that'd be a fun little touch to an Edith Holden book. Story of her life. I'm trying to decide if I want this part. I don't think I need that part. Just says cover photograph of Edith Holden reproduced. That's okay. I don't need to know that part. So what I'm thinking is cut this one out. I didn't plan this. I just, I don't know. All I planned really was the other part. just like that, isn't it? Or I could almost like it like this where it's a little bit you could just glue that down and then you could have another little pocket there. Let's do that. I'm going to use this, I think, just because it is kind of got like a plastic texture to it. And I just want to make sure that you know, it's going to stay. I'm going to see how, how I would want this to go. Look at that. She tragically drowned 
and the Thames while gathering buds from chestnut trees. It just, you know, but I always think when I read that that she did, she died loving what she did, right? Isn't that pretty? I love that. Okay. So, and then I'm just going to, we'll just kind of add a fun little tuck spot. bit of history of her. And then, you guys know I had tons of those, um, like, things I pulled out earlier. That's not a piece of her stuff, but I think that would be really cute in there. I don't want it to, you know, all those little pieces. I have them over here. And actually, I should find my bucket. Here it is. And this, that would kind of be a cute piece in here. Uh -oh. Without it kind of... to put all, all my goodies in that I might use. Oh, and I have tons of these pieces too. Kateri. Kateri is just amazing. She does such, such beautiful work, Kateri. I had to put some of those in. Um, let's see. Isn't that cute? Let me see what else I have. I don't know. I'm just kind of, just kind of seeing what I have because if I decorate it now, then maybe I won't forget later. This is a cute little piece. Kind of wanted like some color in here too. I have so many pieces to go in here. But see, you can kind of see through each of these. I think that is just awesome. I love it. So, uh, I have a couple of pieces in there, so we'll call it good for now. So I have this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then I think I want like a little button here or some, some kind of thing here. And then one here so that we can kind of tie it together. I think that's what I want to do. So let's focus on that right now so we can finish this video up but I mean we could even do like like the butterflies where's those ones let me look these I think that would be so pretty you know what I could just do something like that but do I want to cover cover up the this beautiful piece down here let me think let me think how could I create this I think I got it let me see if I can find my my velcro pieces I wonder where in the world those are hmm Okay, thanks, Michelle. Where did you put Velcro? Surely I came across it while I was cleaning. And I don't see any. Hmm. I don't know, Leslie. I think I lost my Velcro. Okay, I'm still thinking. So. I mean, I 
was thinking if I had something like this, but then you would have to still be able to fold that down and that wouldn't work, would it? But I'm just thinking here. <laughs> if you put it there, let me see what else I have here. Maybe just like a little thing of flowers. like that what do you guys think it's a little bit thinner so let me pull out my bit be my Betty book here and this is where I have like all my flowers and stuff and this is uh, Tim Holtz so um, the flowers are so they're pretty good sturdy um, cardstock so I just want something that's going to kind of tie into that without you know being too too obvious I kind of like the greenery her stuff is more more greenery Ooh, I kind of like that I actually like that. I'm gonna go with it, but it's it's just a harder um, piece. What's it called? Yeah, it'll come to me here in a minute. Like a cardboard stuff. And Betty gave me this awesome book. That's what I store them in. I've got to find my... I'm going to be on a mission now <laughs> to find my um, Velcros because I had another idea, but I can't make it work without my Velcro. It's probably on my desk somewhere. Yes, it's a mess. Always is. I might clean up after I get done here. <laughs> This one on and then we'll call it good because I don't want you guys to get too tired of me rambling. I think that is really cute. I'm gonna raise it just a touch. Have these little guys here. Figure out which way I want him. I think I want it like this. So just on the bottom half dirty enough, you know, to hold, hold that, and then we'll take those off. So this will slide up like that. It's still not too bulky, so you can still write in it. You have this piece and these two little pieces. I love it. I think it's so awesome. What do you guys think? I think it worked out really nice. So we're going to wrap up this video, and then in tomorrow's video, I think I'm going to do some more decorating. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps out our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye everyone. Tudzings.